Oh, uh, yeah, I just had myself on mute. Okay. Good morning, curling fans from uh, Leduc, Alberta, bringing you the Curling Stadium, Alberta Curling Series Major. This is Sean Murray, and uh, joined this morning by Mark. I'm very sorry, Mark. I don't know how to pronounce your last name. No, you're fine. It's Mark now. <laughs> I get that quite a bit, yeah. <laughs> uh, this morning, we have a match between... Yannick Schwaller of Switzerland and the new look Mike McEwen team uh, playing out of Ontario. These two teams actually met in the semifinals of the Martinsville Major last week. And uh, Schwaller kind of laid the wood to McEwen in that game. So McEwen team going to be looking for a little bit of payback on this one. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing this. You know, I, I like seeing Team Tuck here, so it'll be fun watch as a Tucker. Relatively straightforward start. Team McEwen throws the center. Schwaller went to the wing. We've had a couple of hits out there. Yeah, pretty normal first stand, yeah. hitting it, but it's so far out there. We're going to try and make use of it instead, try and sit in front of it somewhere. The uh, old Peter de Cruz team, Benoit Schwartz, on the right, as you look at him sweeping, is uh, the fourth stone thrower, Sven Michel. Just through. Yeah, it should be a pretty good game. Always 
fan of watching uh, Benoit Schwartz. Um, you know, I always think if you had one person to, you know, make a draw to save the world, I think it'd be him. Yeah, he's, I, I don't know that I've that I can think of a fourth stone thrower who's just as cool as can be. Like every time, doesn't matter what the, what the shot is, he's just he's right there. I'm also being curious about how how well this team communicates because I know they quite a few of them communicate in different languages, don't they? Uh, well, I know depending on the region of Switzerland, they can speak German, they can speak uh, Swiss German, Swiss French. Um, but I believe I don't honestly know. I know uh, I don't know if they are multilingual. Sure they are. Surely, yeah. Yeah, if anyone in the chat knows, yeah, feel free to chime in with their language or what their team dynamic is for communication. Yeah. The Cruz team was always communicating in French, I believe. Yeah, I believe that's right. So now with nothing in the house, Schwaller's team going to peel that center keep it clear and try to blank the scent. And no mistake. Yeah. Now they're just trying to freeze one back there, trying to make use of those ones in the coffin corner down there, yeah? Yeah, see if they can get some kind of a mistake or a half shot. Doing without hammer, figure this is the only way they're ever going to force is to try and generate some kind of a mistake. Yeah. So like uh, freeze and maybe hit and still jam and then split the rings. Is... I imagine the swallow team would still try and hit no matter what, but you're hoping that oh, yeah. it would it would just feather and stay in the paint somehow, or or leave their own stone as another backer. Yeah. Looks like a pretty good effort. Just that's shade a, that's shade a... deep. Yeah. That is that's a tricky little spot. You you kind of have to hit that right on the nose. Yeah. If you, if you hit it on the inside at all, it could stop and maybe stay in the rings. Yeah. Yep. So if you hit this just right, you might actually be able to leave your own sitting in front of the one that's closer to the bumpers. Well, with the attempt of holding it for the line here, it looks like he's going to hit it just fine. Rolls to the center. Yeah, that's that's just what they wanted. Looking good for the blank now. McEwen really no choice but to hit that. Yep. Schwaller teams had a pretty hot start to the season. They, as I said, they uh, defeated this team at UN in the semifinals at Martinsville last weekend and then uh, won the final. So they're one for one this season in the vest. Looking to make it two for two.
actually rolling out on that last one. So Schwartz so. will just have a free throw through. Just looking for a certain spot here. Yeah, just going to throw it down a line that they maybe didn't get a chance to see in practice. or. Yeah. Oh, doing the inside out, huh? Yeah, I guess that's that's smart to do the inside out. Cause I typically, you know, when I'm playing, I don't typically throw that a lot. You know? Yeah, that's, and I don't think a lot of teams throw that that much, especially on that particular line. It just gives them a chance, you know, if it comes up later, they yeah. have an idea of what it does. So, blank first end. Schwaller will keep the hammer. We'll see if the teams want to mix it up a little bit more. As a, Fairly cautious opening first end. After blank first end, see what uh, see what the teams do in the second here. It was Ewins leaves Brent Lang setting up the center guard again, and looks like now with Hammer in an even end. Team Schwaller going to mix it up a little bit, going to throw the corner guard. Team Schwaller is the only player I'm not familiar with. Pa Pablo, I'm, I'm going to butcher this last name. Pablo Lachat, La La Uh I believe that's pretty spot on. <laughs> I'm just uh, guessing. Yeah, I, 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 I hope it is. Someone please correct me if you know better. So we've got the corner here, and we'll see if they would have guessed they're coming in here. Yeah, I'm sure they're going to be going right around their center guard. No need for uh, double centers here, yeah? Just, just going oh, no, and coming no, no. in top eight now? No, that, that, that first guard is too much in the middle. Yeah, I, well, they actually not enough separation. Oh. Yeah, from the angle it looked like, but maybe that's more like a one and a half, and then some. Uh, sit with its couple here. Yeah. Like I don't want to see him. That's like just in the ground. The elevator has to be. Now with that tricky second center, not a ton of room to draw in, so it looks like they're taking the wide. Yeah, they're going around I'll wide around in. their own corner. So they'll have to deal with that center situation later. And pretty much perfect. Very Makes nice it pretty good, yeah. yeah for, the, for those that are watching, we, we don't have access to any on-ice audio or player chats, like so we can't hear the discussion. So if, if we get calls wrong, like that second center guard business, um, it's because we can't hear what they're doing, so we're we're kind of improvising. So just bear with us. We, we'll 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 goof it up a little bit here and there, but we, we've got what we got. We appreciate y'all joining us on this Saturday morning.
Yeah, I promise we we kind of know a little bit of the strategy, but again, more tough or less. to kind of see. Yeah. As long as we sound like we know, that's all that matters, right? That's yeah. That's that's all you need, really. <laughs> They're pretty pretty nicely done. Yeah. Looks like Mike's gonna start ripping here. Or I'm sorry, that's Yannick, yeah. That's Yannick, yes, yeah. Good old black hoodies and curling. Yeah, I'm guessing. I'm, I figure some of these teams don't have or are waiting on their uniforms still. It's pretty, it's pretty early in the season. Yeah, pretty early in the quad, you know, still kind of forming teams. Yeah. So we're going to try and clear both of these. Hit it just right. You might get lucky in the rings. Ooh. Well, they killed their own, but that's. Not a bad leave because everything is out of the middle. It's off to the side now. I mean, yes, that's a McEwen stone back there, but McEwen doesn't have the hammer. He really doesn't like where that stone ended up because that's something that Schwaller can use. Yeah. So they talked about possibly freezing down to it, but it looks like they're just going to put up that center again. Yeah, you, you, you got you to gotta keep control of the middle because that uh, – that corner guard and that red McEwen stone being where they are actually helps Schwaller. Because that's something he can freeze to. Freeze to, yeah. So they're going to try to throw this in the middle, try and try and keep play in the center of the sheet. Here, it looks like they are. Oh, looks like they were opting for the freeze, but it looks like now they're maybe just gonna try to hit the center and roll to a different corner. Well, it's it's really tempting to play that freeze because there's definitely enough room between those guards. But you know, we talked about it, and again, that that guard just played is really the most threatening stone on the, the sheet by one. far. So, gonna deal with it. Maybe you roll to a second corner, and you know maybe you get that McEwen stone out. Not that that's really the operative point. Sure, yeah, like if you hit it too thin. Ooh, and just just a hair thin looks like. And that, that was actually the way they were actually trying to get rid of that. And they, they just missed it. Pretty good, pretty good play though. McEwen's got to keep throwing this center. Now, do you th does he mess with the depth at all? You know, just because they were pretty close to missing it, or to making it. Uh, if you want to cut off that shot they just played, you could put it a little higher, just to maybe get the get the corner guard in the way, and it also makes freezing to that stone tough. But I don't know if you're really worried about trying to be perfect with the depth. Yeah, but I would say a little higher than anything. So that's quite a bit higher. See so yeah, up, up where that is. It's, it's pretty tough to run that and try and catch that because the corner is in the way. But that stagger also makes the port that much smaller because if you're trying to freeze. The curl is going to be going against the opening. So it's much yeah. smaller than it looks like. It looked like they were possibly looking at this kind of out turn. I don't know if there's uh, there's room, room there. Yeah, it. yeah, yeah. There's definitely room there because you could even looks like possibly cross the face and get fully out there. Yeah, you could, you could, and and that I think that comes to do they know that spot well because I mean you're getting through that port. That port is maybe two rocks width. I'm not even sure it's that wide. And the shot is only any good if it finishes enough after the guards and gets to the inside of that red. If it freezes to the outside, well, you've lost. Yeah, the then it's just open. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You kind of have you kind of have to be shot if you play that. It's definitely not easy. One 
wondering. I, now I, I was wondering if they were going to play this. This looks to me like they're now going to be running their own guard back. Yeah, I think that was always on the table, but it just it's it's a pretty healthy distance to run back, so it's not a not an easy choice either way. But you know, maybe early on in the game you just run it. And, yeah, I, I I feel like the the height of that center guard plays a factor into this because it's so high that even if you get something behind it, you can still get around and hit something. Not throwing a lot of weight at this because you want your you want the rock you're running back to stay around. Switching sweepers here must be pretty close. It's pretty tough to do better than that. Yeah. They'll take that all day long. Nice, nice little, you know, nice little twelve foot control weight run back right on the nose. No oh yeah. I, I, I do that in my sleep while I'm dreaming. It's in made. Now Mike's stuck with the same situation, but it looks like he's opting for maybe a backline to hack away here. Yeah, I, I, th I think that stone is visible through that port between the yellow and the red guard, so you can definitely yeah. throw just an easy way to get to the nose or maybe even get a little inside. On the front line pretty early here. Yeah, you ha you ha have to get by. That's mission number one. And they do just get by. With room to spare. Nicely done. Just a nose, so. Now, with them getting a little bit higher in the house, is it going to be harder to get this inside roll, you think? It. it, it it kind of depends um, on. I didn't really see it roll at all. It looked like it's stuck on the nose. The, yeah, the, the nose, thing that's yeah. the thing that's nice for Team Schwaller is they can actually roll to the outside because there yeah. is that red McEwen stone. I mean, it would be way off in the wings, but it would, could still be on the cover. So uh, this this is going to be up to Ben Watch Schwartz in the house to judge whether because they certainly want to roll somewhere. They they don't really want to just sit there and give the same shot back to McEwen. Rolled a pretty good spot there. Great situation for Team McEwen. They, they, I mean, they have options, but nothing particularly good. Yeah. Either, either try a run back that's way out in the weeds, or you try and go around a high center or the wrong color. And yeah, that's what I was wondering if they were going to go behind that kind of that yellow that's off the forefoot. That's that's dangerous though, because if you ever, you know, even if you get there, if they run back and stick it, suddenly they're too buried. So. Yeah. I, I, I feel like this is probably the, the, the safest call. Sure, yeah. And Mike has certainly made a ton of these. Yellowstone still might be a little bit covered, actually. That guard didn't roll very far. Hmm. 
So now they look to <clears throat> you just go behind the center here. We're thinking what top eight. Yeah, uh, you it, you go behind one of them. You know, yeah. I mean the the. The only thing is, like I was saying earlier, that red center is pretty high. So even yeah. if you get behind it, it's going to be tough to remove. I think if you go behind that one, you might only want to be just top eight foot. Yeah. Because you go too far back, like top four, and it's easier to hit. Yep. I think even just like half top eight behind that would be pretty good. Now, are you going to want to put dead buried here, or do you want it just a little bit of a stagger at all, or or show like maybe a, a quarter of it? Well, I, I I think you'd probably like to go buried, or maybe see a little piece of it. Maybe try to try to see if they want to tease Mike into going after it. I think really depth is the bigger thing because if it just ends up being like top twelve or half top twelve, Mike could potentially just go around just everything. Go around everything. Yeah. So I think it's more. I think it's more important that this be in the eight foot somewhere because if it is mike pretty much has to try and hit it yeah. let's see pretty decent effort here yes just top, oh, top 12. i thought they would try to take it a little bit deeper i don't know how much that one, I, I actually think that crossed out the other side. I think Mike can see that on the center line side. And if he can, that that there might be a double here now, actually. Yeah, we were looking yeah. at that 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 definitely overcurled. They, they they weren't planning on that. Yeah. Looks like they're lining up like a uh, thin half. Uh, I, I I think it's pretty natural. I think it's just about half a rock. That's a, that's a pretty pretty natural double angle. It's a, it's a long one though, so you got to throw some weight. It's a long one, yeah. You have to throw. But I suppose you can uh, just roll to it too, which is you know probably just as good here. Yeah, Unless they leave you, it open. Yeah. Yeah, if if you roll, I mean, if you catch it a little thin, and that's all about weight. Catch it a little thin, you might just be able to kind of roll behind it or kind of sit next to it and make the shot difficult. Look, looking like a sure deuce for a little bit, but Hewan might be able to bail his team out with a big shot here. One of the things playing a shot like this is you got to remember if you got to consider if the rock is going to change rotation when it hits. So we're throwing counterclockwise this time, it's going to hit. It's actually going to accelerate, so it's actually going to come off at a little bit of a sharper angle, as opposed to if you were changing rotations. So you actually, you, you can afford to hit a little more, and it'll still come off and get over to the side rock. Yeah. Good point. Doesn't look like it's a ton of weight here, but uh, it to maybe a touch thin. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Just a hair thin. Light. I guess he was just trying to roll. Yeah. He, he must not have been able to see much of that. But kind of a big miss there. Doesn't doesn't get rid of either Schwallerstone. And now Benoit Schwartz just has to touch the rings to pick up three. What are the chances he misses here? <laughs> Let's just say I wouldn't bet the farm on it. All right. That's fair. That's very fair. And if you did, you just lost your farm. So, like I said. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Don't count on easy misses like that. So that's a that's a big three ender. Team Schwaller draws first blood against McEwen, but lots of games still to go. McEwen will have the hammer in the third end. We'll have that for you right after this.
So back for the third end, between Mike McEwen and Yannick Schwaller from uh, Curling Stadium, Florida Curling Series Major in Leduc, Alberta. Schwaller with a big three-ender. Set it up by a couple of nice, couple of nice shots, a nice hit and roll, a good draw, and then uh, got a got a mistake out of Mike McEwen on his last. Pretty standard opening when you've taken a big score and have the lead. You go defensive, and that means putting the first rock in the top of the forefoot. That's exactly where Team Schwaller put it. Yeah, it's funny how that works. Now for, for Mike, do you think we're going to see a couple corner guards on the same side or uh, you'll, opposite? You, you might see a couple corner guards. It's going to depend on where these – these two stones and, and uh, these two smaller stones end up. I mean, it, it is still early. They don't need to get all three back right now. Just, just execute your shots and get your two. It's a, you know, lots of game left. Looks like we're going. Yep, another top four, top eight effort here. Opting for the second corner. As far as a preference between, you know, corner guards on separate sides or stacking them all on one side, I think that's just uh, team personal preference. Uh, you know, this early stage of the season, they might not actually know which one works better for them yet. They might be trying them in different situations and seeing if, any, if uh, one pans out better than the other, and then they can use that information later on in the season, like during playdowns. Gotcha. Pretty, pretty textbook, though. Two Schwaller stones in front of the T-line. Nicely placed, two human corner guards. Of course, five rock rule, they can't peel yet. Now for the Schwaller Rocks, does it matter too much that they're a little bit off the center line, or is that kind of on purpose, maybe taking away a little bit of that side strike? Uh, well, I, I think it's just a function of where the first one ended up. You, you, gotcha. you want to keep them in a line, so if it didn't quite get to the center line, well, then the second one's got to be in front of that, and the third one's got to be in front of the second. So, you, I mean, you want them to be pretty much in the center. As, as long as they're somewhere in the middle, you're forcing play away from the corners, and that's really what they're trying to do here is keep play away from those corners. Let's see this run or straight peel. I'll try to get something going in the middle here. Yeah, get one out of yep. there. Got one. Left there's there. So we'll see if they elect to go. It's pretty close. They could stack a, a guard above it here. Uh, wrap it around. Looks like they're just going to throw another guard. mainly about setting up for the later part of the end and maintaining control of the middle. As long as you get McEwen shooting at stones in the middle, he's not trying to go around a corner. Keep, keep playing in the middle. You can keep the scoring area small and limit his yeah. chances to get to it. Looks like Mike's going to try to come down to it. That's that's what it looks like. Now, does that surprise you? Well, I'll tell you this: if I was if, if, if I was uh, Gannick right now, standing back there, I'd be 
very happy that Mike is calling this shot because even if this freeze is made, you can guard again, you're still shot, and then there's just a mess of guards out there. Yeah. So I, I, this, this might not be what I would do, but I'm certainly no Mike McEwen, so I'm gonna, oh, I'm sure he's got a plan. And that actually worked out pretty then, good. Yeah, because I that was the other thought that I had, right, was ticking the guard and rolling into a corner. Because I, I didn't know the depth if you could roll it actually into the rings here, but it's pretty decent here. I, I, I cannot imagine that was actually the call, but it, it worked out good. No, I think they've, they've just got, they've got walls on both sides. So if they ever get a stone underneath one, a chance too, but they've still got a little bit of work to do. Looks like it doesn't change anything from Yannick. Even if that was made, I still think they're putting up another guard there. You yep. Know? Oh, they have control right now. They've got the shot stone that is partially covered. They can keep throwing centers. Mike has to keep chasing it. And, uh, has, to, has to hope for a, an error at some point. Just a little bit more finish on this guard here. This is very big. Finish more than I thought it would. It looked like it had a lot to do there. It just came up enough. Still looking for this freeze. Yeah, Mike's still looking for it. I, I, I feel like at this point, that's probably the best he can do there's there's so many guards that the stagger up front on that yellow red is really no good i don't I think it's too sharp to ever be able to try and double and drive that red back so make a freeze and, and he's got a couple of run uh, run-in options on these corners as well corners yeah. so might still have a, a chance at setting up a two here but it's it's not looking like it's going to be an easy two Got a lot more room on this side now on this attempt here and looks to be finishing quite nicely. That's pretty good. So with that red rock finishing where it did, does that pretty much mean the only runs from I guess the right side of the sheet from the throws perspective. Uh, yeah, realistically, I mean, there there might there might technically be a way to hit the left one and pick the yellow shot stone, but you're never sticking it. So yeah, the 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 high one on the right, I think, is what they're talking. About. What they're it's looking the at. That's the best way to do it. But of course, Schwaller sees that he has that shot. So. Yeah. So he's trying to. Put something kind of in between, I, I suppose, and or being mindful well, of that. But where where can you go here? Well, it, it's it's really about. I mean, you're never going to take everything away. Right? You, yeah, you just aren't. You can't possibly take everything away. So, do you just take away the easiest shot? Not that there necessarily is an especially easy shot in this scenario. They're looking at actually removing that run-in that we talked about. Because this really is the only one that has the proper angle to be run in to the Red McEwen stone and into the shot stone. Uh, so if they hit this and roll back to the center somewhere, they can essentially accomplish two shots with one to get rid of this run and, and establish another center. Guard. Now, is it more important to get the the double here, or is it more important for the roll? Uh, I don't know if they're – are they playing a double? I thought they were just trying to hit this and roll at the center. Uh, yeah, I guess that, that back one, seeing the overhead cam, it's, it's not in a great place to, to run that. Oh, the tight – yeah, you know, the, 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 the tight one, you mean? Yeah, the tight one, yeah. Yeah, that, no, that, that's way too sharp. That's really not yeah. usable. Yeah, I think they were just okay. – 
That's that's pretty much what they wanted, I believe. Pretty good, yeah. Yeah. Now it looks like there is a yellow, yellow, red combination here. If they got these here, they may take it. You know, that might be the only shot for the deuce. Well, I, I think that's kind of what uh, Mike is looking at. He can he can stack another one on top of that. And yeah. He can make it so that he's got one rock that cannot be removed. Like if you can line this up perfectly, that red that's just by the top of the four, you, you are never going to get that going anywhere, no matter what. This has some serious movement to do. And it looks like it's heavy. Ooh. Well, it's in there for shot stone, but I guarantee you that's not what Mike wanted, and that's not what Ryan Fry wanted to throw. It's it's that's tricky though. That's that's really a, a not bad miss because you gotta be a little bit careful. Is he looking to roll? Maybe. Well, I don't. Uh, well, away, I, I, I don't. I don't think you can even nose hit this. I don't think you can see it. No. So you're rolling somewhere. It's just a matter of how far you want to roll. I think, you, I think you would like to stay in the rings somewhere, but sure. Just make make sure you get this out of there. That's mission number one. So I'm having to go for line here. And, oh no! Nope, switching back to finish. Just make sure you hit it. Sticking around is kind of a bonus. Yeah. Not really necessary to be behind the T line no matter what. All right, let's see if Mike can dig himself out of here. Yeah, it's 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 pretty messy the way this end is gone. <laughs> well, we definitely got some curling, you know, after that blanket in the first, we get a three in the second, and now we've just got a whole pile of rocks in play here. Oh, yeah. Glad you're giving us something to talk about. Not really, not really sure what I would want to do if I was in this situation. I mean, I'd hate to be forced to one and go down two without. But I feel like if you want to try and generate two, the only way you're ever going to do that is to play that you play freeze that on freeze top of on your top. own, and then hope hope that you've got that that uh yellow yellow almost a loaded gun. I'll go right back in there. what else you do here yeah i mean i i guess the only other thing that i was looking at here is if you possibly the yellow guard that's kind of in the middle of the forefoot if you tap that up and kind of maybe tap that other red in and then open something on the on the intern side Ooh, uh, that's that's asking a lot yeah that that's a pretty 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 tall order i think this i think this this is I mean, there's nothing easy, right? But yeah, I feel like this, this is, is the most straightforward. Yeah, it's it, and it's it's the best chance if it's well executed. They just they just tried it last time. I think it was just a little heavy more than anything. Yeah, you know, as long as you get it close, because then you put the pressure back on Schwaller, and they have to think, all right, well, I can't get rid of either of these reds, assuming they place correctly. So what do I do? Do I guard for my life and hope he misses? Do I try and get in there to sit two? It's 
hard to tell, but it looks like he's a touch wide. Now it's coming in just a little bit and ticks and oof. Yeah, that looked a, just a little strong again. They were trying to go past it, but yeah. yeah is it just the spot that's fooling Mike or, or I don't know. I don't I don't know if it's just a it's a little faster, maybe a touch straighter than they think. That that is two in a row where it's been cruising. That spot's just got quick on them all of a sudden. Certainly not quite where they wanted it. Yeah. Now I think there's going to be interesting decision here because I think initially they were looking at lining up this this kind of maybe double here and kicking the red out the side, but then you almost let him off the hook with a a blank there, yeah. Well, not a blank. The 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 thing I'd be worried about is if you tried that double because it's. I mean, you, you got to throw a lot of weight because you're you're coming off of this left one, trying to push the red one sideways. If you don't get it all the way out of the rings, you might actually leave Mike a double back for two. Yeah. So I I they might be trying it, but I don't know if there's a nose a nose hit to just uh, sit there and then protect. I don't know if that would leave a double for Mike, but I feel like if you at least just roll this in just a little bit. Schwartz is throwing it pretty hard. Might be going for the double. And... Oh, they're trying to roll away. Roll, roll away. Well, that's a good result, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. see what he has for two and I, I don't I, I don't really see much. No, I think they initially tapped this little that tap and roll this over is, there, but uh, is he trying this yellow red? Oh yellow man. red. Woo that's what I saw earlier, but well hey you I, I but well I guess yeah that's the only option when, when he didn't have that freeze right on his from his first. Yeah I guess he figures well, the draw for one is really hard because basically I touch the pin and it's really no good even if you make it. You're down two without yeah, in for a penny in for a pound. So yellow, red, red, yellow. I think the nose is pretty close. Yeah. Got to save them both in the eight foot at least. Yeah, he's got to – can't throw a ton of weight at this to, to have it stick either. No, no. But you're moving four rocks, so it's got to be some weight. Close. Oh, oh. oh didn't even take it on the way by. That's that's, that's, a, that's a pretty good try, but just, just a real messy end for McEwen. They give up a steal of one. That's going to make it 4 nothing. Schwaller. Fourth end will be coming at you right after this. Back for the fourth end. Team Mike McEwen, Team Yannick Schwaller. Schwaller leading 4 nothing. Mike had a really, really hard shot in his last one to try and salvage a two. Couldn't quite pull it off. 
now re really got to put the pedal to the metal, go aggressively on offense. They've got to score at least a couple. Mark, I know we were talking about uh, partway through that end being a little, uh, well, you know, to our, you know, not on the tour minds being a touch surprised as to McEwen's choice to try that freeze a couple of times on a, a Schwaller rock in the, in the forefoot and it, it ended up not working and we kind of got in trouble because of it. Yeah. Well, you know, I mean, I, I think looking back, right, you know, I think that was the only way they're going to get that deuce, right, is that kind of loaded yellow. Well, especially uh, later in the end, for sure. Yeah, for sure, yeah. You know, it's kind of tricky. They they had a few corners, but never really got to use them because, you know, yeah. they, they kept on bringing play back to the center. So, mm -hmm. I mean, as much as there were a couple misses from, you know, Team McHugh in that end, I mean, it's just, it's definitely uh, Team Schwaller made them pay. Well, yeah, and, and Team Schwaller has been executing, you know, really, really well this game. We, we can't take away any credit on the ball. But still, still plenty of ends. And, you know, sure enough, Mike was, Mike was, Decently close on that, so. so oh yeah. Good so they, they still, still just need to just need to get the get their two, and then uh, see see what they can do without the hammer. If you can get your deuces and force the singles. You know you can you can tie this game up after eight ends. So now they're now instead of the double corners on opposite sides, now they're stacking them. So they're saying, okay, well, the corners on both sides of the sheet didn't pay off. Let's try stacking them and let's see how that goes. I, I personally am a fan of stacking them on one side because I feel like when you've got corners on both sides of the sheet, it, there just becomes too much traffic and you can sometimes cut off any path into the middle. Sure. All these stones on the side. At least this way, you've got some kind of path into the middle if things go wrong. But again, it's just personal preference. Sure. Yeah, and I would agree with that. You know, and I, I think with having them on the sides, you know, peel attempts sometimes you get lucky and, you know, one of them spills in, but maybe that's more on my level and not necessarily on the tour level. It's pretty tough to place three stones better than those three Schwaller rocks just right in a row. They're close enough. You can, you can definitely get all of them moving. But it looks like he tapped it for which is me getting the top one and rolling in behind the corner. Yeah, I think that's just indicating the, the, the side he wants to hit it on. Oh, that, way if, if, gotcha. that way also if it rolls, it's not going to be on the on the right from the thrower's perspective. Gets the top one and rolls yep. out to the corner. Would have would have liked to have caught at least one of those stones, but still good shot. And definitely one of the things we've seen so far is that the the front end for uh, Schwaller is just executing so well, placing their stones exactly where they need to be. That you know, the human has to play so much cleanup just to get things opened up and they never really get a chance to go on offense. Shot at the double. Yeah, still no, no real options yet. You gotta, gotta open up this middle in some respect. Gets them all there, moving. There we go. Did you get them all out? Not quite, but not quite. That's that's 
Very, very good shot. Yeah. Yes, it didn't quite get them all, but oh, that's okay. That that remaining stone is kind of inconsequential where it ended up. Yeah, yeah. Back there behind T is not going to be too much here. Yes, they left their own, but that's all Red McEwen stones up front that can be used. So now if you're Team Schwala here, you're still going under the center or trying to go under maybe one of the other corners where it's a little... Oh, you're, more. oh you're, you're going under the center all day. So, the, the, I mean, yes, the center guard is, is a wrong color, but it's still a center. And, you know, that's where you want the play to go. So you put it there so that you can get them chasing it. spot i actually i kind of i like that it's not fully buried because you can't run it back and stick it behind cover now is there enough separation to get to the inside of that camera angle is not quite Good enough to be sure. I would think not. Uh, looks like we're going to the other side. It looks like just kind of wrap it around the corner. I think they're playing a, a tap up. That's what it looks uh, like to me. Something, something. I don't know if they looked at. They could actually maybe tap up that center behind that pile of corners there, and then open up the yellow shot rock at the same time. Yeah. But they're they're this this one they're tapping is just a foot or so off the ring. I think they're just trying to get something in the house get here. something going yeah maybe put the pressure back on oh okay. they did get it in the rings but it's the third shot oh they actually spun the shooter yeah, in too they spun the shooter in so there's sitting third and fourth so yeah that's that's a little something but that's something to keep in mind but still looking pretty decent for Schwaller here Yeah, nice overhead zoom in. You can see it appears to be fighting, but it's a little tough to tell. I think I think this is a pretty smart call. It looks like they're going to hit this one that does appear to be just a biter because, yeah, you're sitting two and you're up four, but there's no sense in leaving a bunch of opposition stones around if you don't need to. Yeah, you're you're absolutely okay giving up a two here. You know, you oh, never yeah. want to give up any. You know, you don't want to leave three or four on the table. So, making hit and rolling somewhere. Settles way just nibble in the back of the eight foot, but that that's that gets the job done. That that is for my money, that's more or less gonna nullify that uh, red stone that's in the top of the twelve foot. So you have to get all three of these yellow swallow rocks moving to ever bring that on the scoreboard. Yeah. So it looks like there's a few options they're kind of talking through. It looks like they're talking about just drawing in the intern side, maybe playing on that top center, or freezing to the back ones here. You kind of, I, I mean, do you have to start addressing that, you know, the center top eight rock right now, or? Uh, I, I feel like that's probably the 
the safest way to at least guarantee that you have a good chance of scoring. As far as trying to still get two, that also works, but something they looked at briefly was hitting that left back one and rolling in front of the other one. Give you one in there that's safe, but it is late enough in the end. I, I, I really don't mind addressing this. Yeah. It's a top eight stone either. Looks like they get it just a nose. You know, one thing that, that does does work in McEwen's favor here is that those two yellow Schwala rocks back there are really close together. And not, not the easiest double you'll ever see, but it's makeable. Now the, the momentary goal for the Schwaller team is to basically keep keep Mike's attention away from those two if he can. He has to put something else in a place that Mike has to deal with. Yeah. Keep his attention away from those two in the back. It's a good result, too. Still sitting the three. And now, at this point, I mean, is, is there a triple there? I mean, I always want to say the triple's there, you know. But. Well, no, I mean, th there certainly might be. Um, straight back. Catch just a little feather of the left back one and then onto the other one and then spin the one you're hitting out the side. It's, it's there. I don't really know if... It's obviously no no picnic, and you, what you'd really hate to do is try it and then just stuff this back there. Yeah. But I think I think it's worth looking at. They're, Mike's definitely looking at it. Yeah. Or is it more important to play the role here? I don't know. I, 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 I kind of feel like the most important thing to do here is to get shot stone. However you yeah. do that. I mean, the only reason to play this triple is if you are dead set on trying to bring that that top twelve stone of yours into play. And you know, only only two shots left. I think I think that's just really really hard. Yeah. So it looks like I, I think they're going to do the back one. Yeah, I, I think they're going to do what I was talking about earlier, which is uh, hit hit this one that's right next to Fry's broom, and roll kind of on in top. between. And then have your shot stone back there, kind of uh, in front of that back Schwaller stone. Oh yeah, and I suppose with that with that last effort by Team Schwaller, it's almost they always have a guard on top of that now too. Mm -hmm. so. Right. Another option. I I was looking at this draw too. All right, so I'm assuming we're drawing now. Oh, no, we're trying to hit of some kind. Uh, Yeah, maybe just hit and roll and see if they can spin it to the eight foot. Try and make a double. Not a bad result. They get Pretty two of decent. them. Yeah. yeah. Hard to tell if they're shot now, but that's, that's second, yeah. Six, second and third. I, and I don't, I don't think it really changes what Schwaller would be doing here, anyways. That's right. You, yeah. you, you got to go around everything. Still 
talking about it. I'm not sure what else you do. I'm maybe just talking about ice broom placement. Yeah, kind of out of nowhere. Suddenly looking like could uh, be a chance for a few points here. If you want to get back into this game. We'll get the job done. I think they were looking to see if there's maybe some sort of face slash. Well, there's, they want to score more than one. They need a, a serious hero shot. looking at some kind of double run. It, it goes without saying that drawing for one here probably really doesn't do much for you. Not, not, not much good to be down three without the hammer. No. This center one. This is not what I want to be throwing. I don't think anybody wants to throw this. No. You don't really have a choice. Well, you may want to throw it for fun, but you don't want to. Ah, yeah. <laughs> you throw it in league. You, know, you don't yeah. throw it. Yeah. <laughs> there are some, shot, some shots that are no picnic. This shot's not even a cheese sandwich. I'll tell you. It's, this, is, this is tough, tough, tough. So red on the red on the yellow here? Yeah, basically red onto the red. Hopefully you hit the one in the house at the right angle that it gets the one and then spins back and gets the other. Tough doesn't really describe. Oh. Uh, doesn't look good. So it looks like steal a one, steal a two. We're not sure, but that's going to be the end of this game. Schwaller is going to defeat Team McEwen. Might be moving to another game here. Let's see. Thanks to everyone for tuning in. Uh, there's more curling yet to come from Leduc.